when providing care for physical symptoms. Assist patient with developing more appropriate ways to verbalize feelings and needs. Use positive reinforcement to increase non-complaining behavior and set limits by withdrawing attention from patient when they focus on physical complaints or make unreasonable demands. Use diversion by including patient in milieu activities and recreational games. Nursing care plan, assessment data, objectives, decreased attention span, restlessness, irritability, poor impulse control, feelings of discomfort, apprehension or helplessness, perceptual field deficits, Decreased ability to communicate verbally. Nursing diagnosis. Anxiety. A vague, uneasy feeling whose source is often non specific or unknown to the individual. Goals and objectives. The client will be free of injury. Discuss feelings of dread anxiety, and so forth. Respond to relaxation techniques with a decreased anxiety level. Reduce own anxiety level. Be free of anxiety attacks. Interventions. Be aware of your own feelings and level of discomfort or anxiety. Encourage the client's participation in relaxation exercises. These can include deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, medication, guided imagery, and going mentally to quiet, peaceful place. Teach the client to use relaxation techniques independently. Help the client see mild anxiety as a positive catalyst for change. Rationale. Anxiety is communicated interpersonally. Being with the anxious client can raise your own anxiety level. Relaxation exercises are effective non-chemical ways to reduce anxiety. Independent use of the techniques can give the client confidence in having some conscious control over his or her behavior. A frequent misconception is that anxiety itself is bad and not useful. The client does not need to avoid anxiety, per se. Interventions. Remain with the client at all times when levels of anxiety are high, severe, or panic. Move the client to a quiet area with minimal or decreased stimuli. Using small room or seclusion area may be indicated. Remain calm in your approach to client. Use short, simple and clear statements. Avoid asking or forcing the client to make choices. Use of PRN medications may be indicated if the client's level of anxiety is high or if the client is experiencing delusions, disorganized thoughts, and so forth. Rationale. The client's safety is a priority a highly anxious client should not be left alone. His or her anxiety will escalate. The client's ability to deal with excessive stimuli is impaired. Anxious behavior can be escalated by external stimuli. A smaller room can enhance the client's sense of security. The larger the area, 
more lost and panicked the client can become. The client will feel more secure if you're calm and if the client feels you're in control of the situation. The client's ability to deal with abstractions or complexity is impaired. The client's ability to problem solve is impaired. The client may not make sound decisions or may be unable to make decisions at all. Medication may be necessary to decrease the client anxiety to a level at which he or she can listen to you and feel safe. Dissociative disorders. Dissociation. Removal from conscious awareness of painful feelings, memories, thoughts, and aspects of identity occurs in extreme stress or trauma. Identity, memory, consciousness are disturbed or altered. Dissociate the abuse experience as well as feelings and needs associated with it in order to survive the ordeal psychologically and physically. Adult will be vulnerable to self-mutilation and dissociation anytime she becomes angry. Assessment. Occupied physical functioning. Use home meds and non-prescriptive drugs. Types. Dissociative disorder. Multiple PD or dissociative identity disorder. Two or more personalities develop distinct and unique personalities within the person, triggered by stress. Two or more personalities that take control of the person's behavior. The person host is unaware of the other personalities, but the other personalities may be aware of each other in varying degrees. Multiple PD or Dissociative Identity Disorder Defense against extreme anxiety Splitting off allows the child to survive the trauma but leaves an impaired personality with disconnected parts or alters. Each personality alters has its own name, behavior traits, memories, emotional characteristics, and social relations. Most common personality, a fearful, terrified child, and the next most common is a persecutor modeled on the abuser. Child abuse is almost always a part of individuals with dissociative identity disorder. Trauma is usually severe. Sexual abuse that overwhelms the child's non-dissociative defenses. The abuse experience is dissociated and aspects of the experience later appears in the form of various personalities. Dissociative amnesia, characterized by inability to recall important personal info because it is anxiety and stress provoking, loss of memory of important personal events that were traumatic or stressful in nature. Three types. One, localized amnesia, Clients block out all memories about specific periods. 2. Selective amnesia. Client recalls some but not all memories about specific period. 3. Generalized amnesia. Loss of all memories about past life. 
3. Dissociative View Sudden or unexpected travel away from home or work with loss of memory about the past. Confusion about identity or assumption of partial or completely new identity is present. Last from few hours or several days and is usually accompanied by amnesia. Depersonalization Experiences of feeling detached from or an outside observer of one's body or mental process. Sense of reality is changed, but the person is oriented to time, place, and person. Is often accompanied by symptoms of derealization in which the person. Management of dissociative disorder. Establish trust and support. Discuss self-harm thoughts. Help client develop plan for going to safe place when having destructive thoughts or impulses. Grounding techniques to help client who is dissociating or experiencing flashbacks. Validate client's feelings of fear, but try to increase contact with reality. During dissociative experience or flashback, help client change body position, but do not grab or force client to stand up or move. Supportive touch if client responds well to it. Teach deep breathing and relaxation techniques. Use distraction techniques such as physical exercise, listening to music, talking with others, or engaging in a hobby or other enjoyable activity. Help to make a list of activities and keep materials on hand to client when feelings are intense. Refer to client as survivor rather than victim. Establish social support system in community. Make a list of people and activities in the community for client to contact when help is needed. Substance-induced anxiety disorder. Anxiety directly caused by drug abuse, a medication or exposure to a toxin. Symptoms. Prominent anxiety, panic attacks, phobias, obsessions, compulsions. NCP. Anxiety Stress Related Disorder Assessment Objectives Decreased Attention Span Restlessness Irritability Poor Impulse Control Feelings of Discomfort Apprehension or Helplessness Perceptual Field Deficits Decreased ability to communicate verbally. Anxiety. Vague, uneasy feeling whose source is often non-specific or unknown to the individual. Goal and objectives. Client will, free from injury, discuss feelings of dread, anxiety, and so forth. Respond to relaxation techniques with a decreased anxiety level. Reduce own anxiety level. Be free of anxiety attacks. Intervention. 
Remain with the client at all times when levels of anxiety are high, severe, or panic. Move client to a quiet area with minimal or decreased stimuli. Using small rooms or seclusion areas may be indicated. Remain calm in your approach to client. Rationale. Patient safety is a priority. A highly anxious client should not be left alone to his or her anxiety will escalate. Patient's ability to deal with excessive stimuli is impaired. Anxious behaviors can be escalated by external stimuli. A smaller room can enhance the client's sense of security. The larger the area, more lost and panicked the client can become. Patients will feel more secure if you're calm and if the client feels you're in control of the situation. Interventions Use short, simple, and clear statements. Avoid asking or forcing the client to make choices. Use PRN meds may be indicated if the client's level of anxiety is high or if the client is experiencing delusions, disorganized thoughts, and so forth. Be aware of your own feelings and level of discomfort or anxiety. Rationale Patient's ability to deal with abstractions or complexity are impaired. Patient's ability to perform problem solving is impaired. The client may not make sound decisions or may be unable to make decisions at all. Medications may be necessary to decrease the client's anxiety to a level at which he or she can listen to you and feel safe. Anxiety is communicated interpersonally. Being with the anxious client can raise your own anxiety level. Intervention Encourage the client's participation in relaxation.